Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a wear test on the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. Now I know this foundation has been out for such a long time. In fact, I think CYO has been in boots for about a year now and it's been in the US for a lot longer than that, but I've just never tried it. It's £7.50. It's a really, really cheap foundation. Will this look cheap? Will this go cakey? Or will this be the best foundation that I have ever tried from the drugstore? If you are wanting to find out, then please keep watching. So this is the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. You get 30 mils worth of product, which is standard for £7.50 in the UK or $7 in the US super super cheap this comes in 15 different shades it's got a creamy lightweight formula gives a medium coverage straight away and is buildable to a fuller coverage it's got vitamin e in here which nourishes the skin so this shouldn't sink into any dry patches so this should be good for any dry skin people and it gives a natural finish and lasts up to 24 hours it comes in a little plastic tube, which is perfectly adequate. It actually looks like glass, but then when you get up close, it definitely is plastic. And it does have a pump, which makes me very, very happy. So I'm eager to get some of this on, let's do it. Okay, so I've already got my serums and my moisturizers on and I'm ready to get this CYO foundation on my face. Now I'm not gonna lie, I have tried this out in numerous ways over the last few days. I'm not gonna tell you how I thought about it yet, you will have to wait until the end of the video, but I already know how this is going to perform today. So, cheating, just a little bit. This is not a first impressions, I have tested this foundation out, so. Let's get some of this on. The one that I have chosen today is the shade 103. The 102 was a better shade match for me, but the undertone was slightly pink, which made me look very gray. So this is slightly too dark, but it's the right undertone, so it looks a lot better. Let's get some of this on. It has such a silky, smooth texture. Feels really cooling on the skin. Actually reminds me a little bit, when it's going on anyway, of the YSL All Hours Foundation. Really sits so beautifully on the skin. How gorgeous is that already? This is definitely a medium coverage when it goes on, but I've got a feeling that you're gonna be able to spread this out a little bit, so make it really quite a weak medium coverage if that's the look that you want to go for that day. But this also says that it's buildable to full coverage. Definitely gonna go down the neck because the shade match isn't perfect, but I wore this to a party last night I wore it, actually I didn't redo my makeup, I didn't redo my foundation, I just added a bit of eyeshadow on top because I didn't have very much time yesterday. So I actually wore the foundation from nine o'clock in the morning until half past one at night. Did add a little bit of powder to it just before the party, but I didn't actually redo any of the foundation at all. This really does blend so beautifully into the skin. I'm actually kicking myself that I didn't try out this foundation ages ago when it first appeared in Boots. That's where I bought mine. You can either buy it from the CYO website or in the UK, Boots actually stock this product. Not quite sure where it's stocked in the US. Got a feeling it's Walgreens. Now just to let you know, I do still have a little bit of swelling on my top lip and a tiny little bit of bruising that's left over but I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera. I have been filming for Christmas because I'm having some time off over Christmas to spend some time with the kids so I'm pre-filming at the moment so you will find over the next couple of weeks you'll see my lips deflate a little bit and then all of a sudden over Christmas they'll be big again with the swelling. And that's because I've been pre-filming, so you'll have to excuse those when they come around. I absolutely 
love this foundation and how it looks when it first goes on. I can't fault it, it's really lovely and glowy, but not too glowy. And it just looks super natural, but it evens everything out. By the way, I've put this on with my 103 Define Buffing Brush from Zoeva. This, if you are a regular to my channel, you will know is my brush of choice for all foundation application. But it does say on the back of the packaging that you can apply this with your fingers, you can apply it with a brush, or you can apply it with a sponge. So that's quite decent. I just think that is just perfection in a bottle of £7.50. So this also, as well as being really dewy and beautiful and natural looking, it's also airbrushed a lot of my pores, so the pores on my cheek area don't look as defined as they used to, even before I had foundation on. And also, the between my brows is my problem area. I do have some large pores between my brows and pretty airbrushed to me, so. At first application, I cannot fault it. I'm gonna go and put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look and I'm really, really pleased with how everything has blended beautifully together with this foundation. Now, the only part of this foundation that I have powdered are my eyelids because my eyelids tend to crepe together a little bit and create these lines of foundation, which is not a good look. Not a good look. So I have powdered my eyelids, but everywhere else hasn't been powdered and it's still blended seamlessly into this foundation. All my bronzer and my blush and everything else. Just absolutely beautiful. Really, really happy with how this foundation looks. It's just stunning. Very, very natural. This is not one of those foundations where you'll enter the room and people will say, what a beautiful foundation you've got on. They will say, you look really beautiful today. That's what they will say. So I'm gonna show you this in natural lighting and you can tell me what you think about it. Obviously we're gonna do a wear test today, so I'm gonna wear this for a number of hours and then check in with you later on, but I am gonna show you this in natural lighting first and then I'm gonna go and stand next to a freezing cold football pitch and watch Seth play football. So I'll see you in just a flash. So this is the foundation in natural lighting. As you can see, it's quite glowy, um, but very, very natural looking, very, very beautiful. The noise in the background is B. She's playing on Fortnite. Say hello, B. Hi. So, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how the foundation's gone on. As you can see, it's it's not gone cakey anywhere. It's just really beautiful. It's definitely not sank into any dryness at all. So if you have dry skin at the moment, I'm recommending it for any people with dry skin. Not quite sure how you'd get on with it if you had oily skin because this is quite dewy but we'll see as the day goes on see you all in a bit welcome to the check-in it's now been nine and three quarter hours since i first applied the foundation to my face it's done so well i knew it was going to i've tried it over the last few days with powder over the top of the foundation to set it in place and today i've tried it without the powder at all like i said earlier the only place i put powder was on my eyelids it's done really, really well today. It's a little bit shiny. Now, there's no natural lighting anymore. It's pitch black outside. So I do have a light directly above me. So it does look a little bit shinier than it would have done in natural lighting. So please excuse that. But it does look a little bit shiny around this area and this area and on the tip of my nose. But there is still foundation on my chin, which never ever happens when I don't powder unless I'm wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. This has looked so beautiful all day. Really natural, really skin-like. I've been so so happy with how this has actually gone. No sinking into any dry patches, no cakiness around the nose. I didn't need loads of product when I first put this on. So this is just a small amount of product. So there was no way it was going to get cakey, but it's definitely not separated around my nose area and it's not sank into any fine lines that are on my face, even though I didn't powder it. So to be quite honest, this foundation is absolutely amazing and it is super, super cheap.
Now if you are going to put powder on this to set it in place it does change the look of the foundation a tiny weeny bit. If you don't set it in place it's very dewy. If you do set it in place it's dewy but not as dewy. So as you can see the blusher and the bronzer are still mostly intact. Some of it has rubbed off throughout the day but this has been a great foundation base for the rest of my products. To be quite honest, I don't think I have ever worn a dewy foundation that has lasted this amount of time. We're going on 10 hours and I don't look like an oil slick, which is unheard of for me. Most dewy foundations look a little bit overly dewy by the 10 hour mark, so I'm really, really impressed. I had my phone up against my face earlier on and I can say that this is transfer proof. This None of this rubbed off on my phone at all. So. Super, super impressed and for the price of £7.50 I don't think you can go wrong. Now if you have really, really oily skin I'm not quite sure how you're going to get on with this but if you have dry skin and you're wanting a dewy product I would seriously recommend going out and trying this first because if you don't like it you haven't wasted that much money. It's only $7 or £7.50 which I think is absolutely amazing. Anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Hope to see you all again soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. Also, don't forget I'm also on Instagram. It's pamperedwolf, all lowercase, if you want to follow me on there as well. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye.